with a layout update. Now I'm really sorry about my last video, it wasn't really edited properly and I couldn't really speak properly. Um, I don't know what happened, I just didn't haven't done a video in for ages, so I'm um, sorry about that. Uh, but I'm back, I'm back. So um, here we go. So Swanage is Swanage, nothing's really happening. Um, that could be a really good song. Um, so uh, basically I just got my coaches, oh, oh well, yeah, I got three, the, I told you in my last video, I got three of these new coaches, um, got my other rakes um, of the SR Green Mark 1s, which um, I actually have brought, uh, they're actually all custom cream ones, um, by Triang, Hornby, um, etc, uh, I think it, that was Lima, uh, Mainline, sorry, no, Lima and Mainline, sorry, that's what I meant, <laughs> um, and I just repainted them, and they were like they were like uh, chocolate and custard and jam and custard. And I just thought I need SE, I need green coaches, so I brought them like bargains off eBay, and this whole batch. Um, so I'm just building um, the canopy and redoing, as I said in my last video. Um, I haven't managed to do that yet. Um, but the building needs repainting, just redone really. It just needs to be repainted, a bit remodeled a bit. But um, it should be done. I mean, it was just a little see how it would look like, and I was happy with it. I got this canopy shape just right, I think, um, as you would gr agree, hopefully. Um, the good shed is being built at the moment, actually. So um, I am building that. Um, it's just trying to get the right shape. I've get, got lots of photos that I'm printing out at the moment to get it right. Um, so yeah, um, Gavin's logo, again, like in my last video, um, there, there, random. Uh, two four MTs, my favourite loco. Um, uh, really, to be quite honest, it's <laughs> it's. I just love the tenders. <laughs> the tender on it is just a lovely shape. Um, I just like it. So it just made me like the owl engine. I mean that the four MT um, is good, and the four MT is good. So what can I say? The fifty six XX is good as well. Um, and that's just a panya, but he's got one. Um, the tunnel needs building. Um, I've got the sh I've got the both ends. It just needs a, something to cover it. Uh, I'm planning to do that. I'm just trying to think how I could do something. I want to do something with that area. So um, I don't know what to do yet. So uh, yes, uh, coming along. Um, I've got this path that needs being done. Um, so I might have bushes aside and animals each side. I've got some cows over there. I mean they're pretty cool over there. So I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, coming down, we've got a nice branch line. <laughs> ah. Going in with the, uh, I like this area for, you know, mid I like how mid because I, like, I basically live on the mid I love the mid Railway. So I've got the, no, normally I have lots of uh, uh, sleepers and rail, so I have to add that at the end of these sidings, because this year I have got sidings for the wagons and stuff, so, so yeah. I've got this valley I'm building, it'll be a nice valley. Um, lovely rake, really nice combination, I think. Um, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, today I started getting lots and bits and bobs for the railway, and I want to concentrate on getting this bit done at the moment because Swanage is a long-term project, and I want to take a lot of time on it. But this is quick, like a little quick job. Um, so first, first book. Now I can't spell it, so ask Gavin because he always corrects me. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, it's from the last update. I've added these the point switches, um, which are really random because they're found out across the layout. Um, there's one down there as well. Um, but yes. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, building the uh, SR home signal at the moment. So in these painting, I mean, it's a really good. Uh, I think it's a it's a wheels kit, and they're really good. Wheels or ratio? No, it's ratio. Ratio wheels. It's ratio. It's a ratio kit. Um, but yeah, I'm building that at the moment. Um, I got the sandpaper for the platform that is spraying uh, this sort of grey, so we'll get that done. Um, I took a bit more time on uh, the ground signals, and they actually come out really well. And I've changed them to paint them grey, so they stand out in the black. So it kind of looks really nice from that sort of shot. Focus. There you go. Um, oh yeah, I have painted this all concrete, which is ready for weathering and everything. Um, so that's all done, and add security fence in here. 
so that would be alright. Um, oh yeah, the engine share, I can't remember, did this in my last video? Um, I don't know. Um, but yes, uh, this is all built. Um, it's not glued yet, I need to add, um, I'll show in a minute. I um, added the black around the windows and stuff so it looks like it's glazed, well not glazed, but in between gives it another look. Concrete area for the workshop. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, how the hell did I do this? Now, I can't really, can't really tell you the answer because I don't know either. So basically, um, I completely mopped up, um, look at pictures of real um, machinery. Um, I somehow managed to make a vice. Now I think if it was, a, I think it's from a LNR locomotive. If you know the brake inside the cab, um, that's basically the top of that with um, painted red with the um, the handle on it, but taking the other bit off. So it looks like a vice. I mean that's pretty cool. Uh, so I have loads of bits and bobs of engine stuff because I'm a scrap collector if you like. There's most of the scrap um, in there as well. Um, um, so yeah, so I made uh, that. I made uh, this sander. Um, so basically this was built with some indicated disc painted silver. Uh, the Dapol uh, platform... Uh, wait focus, come on. The, the Dapol platform, uh, not the platform canopy bottoms. And then the A4, uh, I think it's a speed measure on the side uh, as the two looking motors sort of thing. So that's good. Uh, the lathe, uh, the lathe was made uh, using two class 50, the old Lima class 50, don't mind, I wouldn't do it to a Hornby one, uh, class 50 uh, tanks on the side, um, then A4 uh, uh, water tank uh, handle, uh, another DAPO um, canopy kit, uh, a fire bell, uh, another handle off of A4, mainly more handles, and there's a break of a tender. As the um, the uh, what do you call it the drill bit of the lathe, uh, uh, so yeah that and I painted it red and it looks so much more industrial and it actually just works. I mean that does look. I, f I hope it looks like a lathe. I think it does. Um, but yes. Um, now my favourite. Now I need to make a um, a milling machine which is being built at the moment. Um, but is my um, pillar drill. Now the pillar drill was my favourite to build because it actually looks the best out of all of them. So the base was pretty easy just using some more Dapol stuff from different kits. Um, I think, yeah, the more Dapol canopy, um, there's a strut there and the uh, the bottoms. Then that red thing with the handle there is uh, off a school, uh, the Dapol schools class uh, injector from that kit. And I thought, you know, that looks like a handle, what would be on the Mini machine, so I'd use that as well. Um, the top bit was off a sprue. Uh, that the uh, handle was made by copper wire, bent into shape, and then we got another A4 uh, brake um, as the drill bit. So yeah, that's how I made those. Um, I've also made a crane uh, with the wire with the button on it. Uh, it's, it's just really random how it just came out looking good. So. That's gonna go in there. I made the uh, the is it the wheels uh, water kit, uh, the water blood uh, water. I don't know what's got. It's gone blank. Uh, the uh, water tower. Sorry, uh, it's not really a tower, but you know. Um, so you got the uh, the what do you call it? The um, burner. Uh, where? Yep. And then you got the burner, the drain system, everything there. Um, I've got a security fence in here, uh, that's good, um, what else, um, yeah it's got more fencing for this platform and uh, here is what's going to go inside the engine shed, so I've got the, cor the corrugated, because this is the only straight corrugated uh, sheets they did, so I've got a transparent and a pa paint and BR cream, cause, and it should look like this, it should look like that hopefully, and then I've got the brick card, um, a brick card, um, I think in a paint it's uh, completely grey and then brushing the um, brick back on or then water wash the grey and then wipe on top of the bricks really quick um, so I might do either of those but yeah, um, it should go like that uh, brick and then the corrugated sheets on top 
So yeah, I hope that comes out well, um, because I'd be really annoyed if it doesn't. <laughs> um, yes, I think that is everything, to be quite honest. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this layout update, um, and I will be back very soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, please subscribe and comment.